Hi guys! Um, so this is sort of an update video, a reply video to many of your questions. Even though I, I'm pretty sure I answered most of them on Twitter, um, I thought I would answer them in case anyone was wondering and didn't see the answers. Um, and then I've got a cover. So if you want to see the cover, you can go to um, this moment. Uh, there should be like a time like right there. Uh, go there and see the cover. Um, if you want to hear the updates, just stay right here. Uh, first, um, yes, Norman did tweet a link to the song that I wrote for him, which I kind of couldn't believe because he normally tweets like Daryl related stuff and this was just a song about how much I love him. Um, so I was so excited and he followed me and he like direct messaged me and I was just like, thank you. Like now I want to like direct message him and like start up a philosophical conversation. I don't know. Just like be really, really intelligent or something. Um, or just tell him that he's super badass and that I love him. Either way, you know, they both work. Um, so here's question time. Woo -woo. Uh, first question, which I got, I think once or once or twice, um, people were saying that they love my music and they wanted to know if I had any other songs that I wrote. Uh, and yes, I do. I have an album on Mediafire. It's for a free download. It should be below in the description. Um, it's called Sentience. Um, I uh, recorded all of it uh, at my house in like, uh, I call it the 24 hour album, but I actually probably did most of the work in like eight hours, um, which was quite the ordeal. Um, and I made it right before I came to college. So it's it's been around a while, um, but you don't have to pay for that at all. Um, it's free. So if you want to download it and check it out, please do. I have a Facebook fan page too. Um, which is also below, uh, if you want to see that as well. Um, I have a friend who we recorded a song with him, and he is supposed to be uploading that to iTunes, so hopefully I will have a song on iTunes. I'm not saying, you know, like, oh, go buy it on iTunes, because I, I hate it when people are like, go buy my song, and it's like, spend a dollar on me, um, because I really like dollars. So if you want to spend a dollar on me, you can, but it's not even available right now, so don't, like, worry about that yet. Um, the second question, a lot of people were like, how are you feeling? Um, <laughs> I am, uh, I do this thing when I'm really excited, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna reenact it, and I'm actually, like, really excited thinking about it, um, but I, you know, this is what happened, okay, so I, I had been texting a friend, because we were playing Wars with Friends, and he was like, I only have an ex left, and I was like, ha ha ha. And so we were texting back and forth, and then all of a sudden I got a new message, and I, I saw it, and all I could see was a direct message from at www.bi, and I was like... <gasps> so I just kind of froze, and then I like pulled out my iPod, and I was like checking new followers, and all of a sudden I had people tweeting me like, Catherine, you saw it, and I was like... Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It was, it was a lot of that. I actually have a video of it. But I'm probably not going to show it because it was a Sunday and I hadn't really taken a shower, um, so I, I look kind of poopy. I'm not going to lie. So, maybe I'll put it. If I put it, it's going to be right here. <laughs> well, did I put it there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was super excited. Um, another question I got asked, um, cause I said that he was coming to Kentucky in 70 some days and people were like, he's coming to Kentucky? Uh, yes. Um, which I actually, last time he was close to me, it was in Columbus and I didn't know about it until about six hours before, uh, <laughs> cause he tweeted that he was coming to Ohio and I was like, what? Um, so I missed that and I was really sad about that, but I think I was in school and I probably wouldn't have been able to make it anyway. Um, but... Yes, he is coming to Kentucky. It is June 29th through July 1st. Uh, it's called Fright Night Film Fest. Uh, and the more I hear about it, the more excited I get because there are a bunch of really, really great uh, actors and makeup artists coming. Um, there's like going to be like a Buffy reunion. Um, forgive me, I don't know all their like actual actors' names, but Xander, Drusilla, and then James Marsters, who plays Spike they're gonna be there, which I'm really excited because, you know, uh, at first I thought it was just gonna be James Marsters, and then I heard about all the other people, and I was just like, oh, this is so exciting. And then, of course, we have, you know, 
Equinox Saints with SPF, Rocco, and Norman Reedus, and then Norman Reedus and Madison Lintz along with the rest of the Lintz family, um, and just a whole bunch more people, like that's, I'm not, I'm just like skating across the surface right now. Sean Astin's gonna be there too, so if you like Lord of the Rings, um, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, and then another thing, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this in the original video, um, but I am working on a song for Daryl, because I, I wrote that song for Norman and it was just supposed to be like a cutesy thing, but I actually want to write like a song inspired by Daryl. Um, it's probably gonna be more like metaphorical, and so to me, I'm gonna hear it and I'm gonna think this is totally about Daryl, this is perfect, um, but I don't want to say that you guys aren't gonna understand it, uh, but I have an odd way of writing things where I use like metaphors and symbols and they it's not gonna be like it's not gonna be Daryl's such a badass Daryl you had such a hard life Daryl I love you it's gonna be like deeper and darker and stuff and so if you I I think it sounds really cool I'm I'm excited um but it's gonna be a song inspired by Daryl and inspired by you know the events in The Walking Dead um uh so I guess that means it's time for me to sing. I'm doing a cover of Yellow by Coldplay. I think there's a like a shit ton of covers, uh, but that's that's okay. Uh, also, my first grade teacher saw the video. My mom posted it on her Facebook when she found out that Norman replied and I was like, Mom! And then my first grade teacher commented and was like, Oh, Katie's so cute and sweet and talented. And I was like, oh my gosh. She saw me, you know, I, it's not that I'm ashamed of the video, it's just I'm not sure if I want my first grade teacher uh, hearing that I like someone's shoulders because somehow I, I just, I feel like a child and I feel like a child shouldn't be saying that they think that he's hot, but at the same time, I'm a 19 year old woman, so it's, it's a struggle there, it's a struggle.
that you enjoyed that. Yes, I do. Uh, and now, now I get to edit. Uh, also, I'm making a bloopers reel. Um, if you think that you would be interested in a bloopers reel, it's coming. It's hilarious, by the way, because it's while I was I was making uh, the original song, and it's basically just me like having mini panic attacks occasionally because I there you know there's like this realization that um, you know somehow he's gonna see this whether I give it to him in DVD form when I meet him or if he actually like sees it on his iPhone. You know that's what I was thinking, and so it was it was difficult. I knew I was gonna get him to see it. Like he had to see it. But at the same time, when he actually did see it, I was like. Bye, guys.